Hey, my name is Eric and in today's video I'm doing a review of QuickBooks versus FreshBooks and which is the right accounting software for your business. So the reason I'm doing this video is I am actually in the process of leaving my full-time job and becoming a consultant and one of my first clients is actually going to be my former employer. And what I want to do is get everything set up the correct way from the beginning because I'm sure you've seen it before where people get set up with one service and then you got to change it and it's such a cluster and it's so hard to kind of like get all your information from one service over to the other. You wanna make sure you're doing the right thing for your business, not only today, but long-term as well. So looking at FreshBooks and QuickBooks, one of the first things I can tell you right out of the gates is the way that these two services kind of differentiate themselves is FreshBooks is more so meant for a self-employed or service-oriented business, where QuickBooks is more, you could say, involved, where you might have a company that sells a product or... So on the whole, both FreshBooks and QuickBooks Online are web-based accounting solutions, meaning you can use either platform anywhere you have access to the internet. So both FreshBooks and QuickBooks have a mobile accounting app available for iOS and Android devices so that you can manage your finances on the go as well. So when you're looking at these two services, we'll first start talking about FreshBooks and some of the features that you might find interesting. So FreshBooks is designed to serve the needs of small business owners, and in particular, it caters towards service businesses that have either self-employed professionals and small business owners who are looking for substantial invoicing capabilities within their accounting solution. So for FreshBooks, if you're, let's say, a photographer or uh, maybe a small marketing consultancy, which I'm actually opening up, uh, where you just have clients, you need to bill those clients, you need to invoice them, you need to keep track of your time, uh, it's a pretty good solution. So as far as some of the feature sets that you might be interested in, they offer customizable invoices, the ability to connect to your business bank account, uh, expense tracking with taxation categories, ability to send customized estimates. What I really like is the ability to allow clients to accept estimates online. Uh, time tracking capabilities, which is nice in the fact that there are time tracking apps out there that are free, but it's nice to be able to have that time tracking and then have it automatically sync with your billing with that client. Uh, project management and file sharing. The project management tool, not as robust as some of the other tools you may be familiar with if you're looking at Asana, Monday.com. Uh, I mean, there's a ton of them. Basecamp. Uh, there's so many project management tools out there. So yeah, depending on how much project management you're doing, you may want to look at some of those tools as well. Uh, the ability to set credit cards for payments is huge, of course. Uh, essential accounting uh, reports like a P&L, profit and loss, chart of accounts and balance sheet. And they also have 200 third party integration options. So uh, for a simple uh, service, they, they do have a robust feature set. Now, when it comes to the pricing of FreshBooks, uh, it is cheaper than QuickBooks Online, but FreshBooks requires that you pay an additional fee per user account, regardless of which one of the three plans you go with, where QuickBooks Online offers a certain number of users based on the plan level. Now, if we're looking at FreshBooks Lite plan, uh, we can scroll down here and we're gonna see that uh, right now it's showing $6 a month. It's actually uh, the supporting the business community. They're doing a 60% off. Um, right now for uh, shelter in place and everything crazy going on, uh, spring of 2020 here. Uh, but if you're looking at the light plan, usually it starts at $15 a month. There is a difference uh, between uh, if you're paying monthly or annually, uh, you can see that toggle switch here. So you can see that that goes down to 450 or six. So there's a little bit of a savings if you're going with the yearly option. With QuickBooks Online, doesn't matter. It's the same price monthly, no matter what. So if we're looking at the light plan, uh, it's gonna give you most of your feature sets that you'd need as far as invoicing and uh, accepting ACH tra transfers, credit card payments online. It's gonna really kind of do the basics, unlimited time tracking, unlimited estimates, etc. If we're going up to the next plan, what you'll see is the five bill clients becomes 50 billable clients now this is important to keep track of because let's say if you're on this light plan and you really don't need anything from the plus plan but you're in an industry where you'll end up billing a bunch of different clients you're going to end up incurring a cost for every client that you have to add on uh, beyond the first five billable clients so that is something definitely worth noting what i've realized from looking at these two services and comparing them is that freshbooks is simple and their pricing is uh definitely cheaper but i think that freshbooks kind of stacks on extra costs when you're talking about the number of billable clients where if you go to quickbooks there's really no mention of how many 
many billable clients you have because it's all just included uh, within the platform. So that's definitely something you want to take uh, into consideration. Now, if you're uh, getting into Plus, Premium, and Select, um, in my opinion, if you're looking at Premium or Select, unless you have a really simple business that just has a lot of billable clients, so maybe you're a wedding photographer that does 50 different weddings every year and you wanna have each one of those as a separate billable client, then it, it might make sense for you to do this premium because on the on the whole of everything, you have a pretty simple business model. You know, you take photos of someone's wedding, you edit them and you deliver the final product, but you have a ton of people that you work with. So fresh books might make a lot of sense. But if you are in a business where you are gonna be growing it into something kind of substantial, where maybe it starts out kind of small, but eventually you're gonna have a bunch of employees underneath you, you're gonna be selling product lines, you're gonna to wanna to keep track of the accounting of those product lines, where the money's coming and going and those things, I think that's where when you start looking at the QuickBooks online pricing models, that's where it makes more sense. So if you're thinking about your business, I think it's important to think about like what is the scalability of your business and where are you trying to take it? If you're just self-employed or you're just a service-based business and you're gonna stay relatively small, fresh books could make sense. But if you have plans on really growing it pretty large and you wanna be able to integrate with other services, QuickBooks might make more sense. Some of the things they do well that FreshBooks is a little bit weaker on or doesn't offer services on uh, is the ability for mileage tracking, sales tax tracking, 1099 contractor management and account access for two accountants where FreshBooks only allows one. And then as far as the online pricing, uh, FreshBooks as we discussed also breaks down their plans based on the number of billable clients. With QuickBooks Online, you'll be able to add unlimited number of clients to your account regardless of which four plans you have. Additionally, where FreshBooks requires you to pay an additional $10 per month per user for multi-user access, QuickBooks Online bakes multi-user access into their plan options. So if you're planning on having like three to four different people at your company possibly accessing this information, it might make more sense uh, to go with QuickBooks where it's baked into the pricing where FreshBooks is gonna have you pay an additional $10 per month per user. Now, finally, it's also important to point out that unlike FreshBooks, QuickBooks does not offer discounted pricing for purchasing an annual software plan, which I mentioned earlier. So one of the things you should be aware of, like as I mentioned, if you're having more of a complex business, uh, you know you can add products that QuickBooks offer, which has been around a long time, such as payments or payroll, and those are pretty savvy tools. Uh, payments is that you can accept all types of payments. Uh, it's a pretty slick service from what I hear. Uh, one of the nice things too is that you can actually pay your bills uh, right from the platform, which is not available on FreshBooks. And then as far as running your payroll with ease, uh, that's a great service to be able to use and just kind of plug in. And as far as payroll, you can plug that right into what you're already using with QuickBooks Online. And again, you can see how with FreshBooks, like you're still gonna have to go with another service for payroll. And with QuickBooks Online, you can just start plugging and adding different feature sets that they have available to you right into that service. So really, when it comes down to it, you have to assess what your business is looking to do. If you're looking to stay like self-employed, like a solopreneur working on your own service-based business, FreshBooks is probably more than you need and it'll be a great tool for you. If you're looking to uh, possibly grow and expand and you have especially product lines that you sell, you're gonna wanna take a look at QuickBooks as your preferred vendor when it comes to your cloud-based accounting software. And now, as I may have mentioned earlier with an on-screen graphic, there are links below for both QuickBooks and FreshBooks. Uh, the price is the same to you when you sign up and they still have the free trial periods or any promotions that they're running, but if you do sign up for an account, uh, I will receive a commission for you doing that. And I appreciate you doing that because it helps support me in my new business as I am actually splitting between a marketing consultant and providing marketing services uh, to nationwide businesses and also doing YouTube videos such as this and making some income on the side as well. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope it's provided some value to you and I look forward to catching you in the next video. All right, take care.